Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So I see that you're here for a full body head to toe assessment. Mm -hmm. um, what's your first name? Ashley. Okay. And what is your date of birth? March 5th, 1999. All right, so what brings you in today? I've been having uh, some tummy issues and then my hands and feet have been really cold. Okay, okay. Do you suffer with low or high blood pressure? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I'll definitely go ahead and check your vitals, including the blood pressure there. Okay. Um, how have you been feeling overall? Okay. Yeah. Um, have you been feeling tired at all? Not really. Okay. Any changes in your diet recently? No. And do you abstain from any foods? No. Okay. Any allergies? No. And is your are your hands and feet cold all day, or does it come and go depending on when you eat? For the most part, it's all day. Okay. And when did this start? About a week ago. One week ago. Okay. All right. Do you wear contacts or glasses? No. Okay. Go ahead and do a vision test anyway. And how have your senses been, such as hearing, taste, touch, smell? Good. Okay. I'll definitely go over those examinations as well. And then as far as the tummy issues, um, what are you feeling and where are you feeling it? Uh, it's just like like a dull pain kind of on the left side. Dull pain sort of on the left side, okay. And does it occur when you eat or? Shortly after. Okay. And does it, um, have you noticed which foods sort of flare up? No. I'm able to do a food allergen test. Um, could be lactose intolerant. Um, that's just a factor that could play part in it. Uh, let's see here. Um, any changes in the stools? No. Okay. All right, so I will go ahead and start off with the examination. And let's go ahead and check your vitals first. Putting on my gloves. Did you have breakfast this morning? No. Okay. Do you normally skip breakfast? Yes. What do you normally have for lunch? Mm, depends on where I'm at. Gotcha, okay. Let's go ahead and check your um, oxygenation and your temperature. I just need your index finger here. Good, just set that down to rest. Okay. 98.1. Oxygenation is ranging normally, 98%, and then beats per minute is 73, just a little bit on the low end. Oh, it looks like it's going up to 79. Okay, good. So, I'm going to check your um, blood pressure there. Is this arm okay? Yes. I'll just slide this in. Okay, I'll just have you sort of squeeze, good. You will hear, I'm sorry, you will feel a little bit of a squeeze on your arm, but it won't last too long, it shouldn't hurt at all.
this so we are 108 over 60 which is a little on the low end doesn't seem too concerning though if that's sort of normal for you Next, I'll listen to the heartbeat. And I'll have you breathe normal. Okay, I'll have you take a deep breath in. that again. Okay, now checking the lungs here. Deep breath in. And again. Okay, I'm hearing S1, S2, no, S3 or 4. Heartbeat is strong and crackling in the lungs. No signs of pneumonia or infection there, or inflammation for that matter. What I'm gonna do next is, I do just want to compare. Um, so I'm going to just check your pulse here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 Okay, matches up there, good. All right, so I'm gonna start off by just doing an examination of your head and your face. I oh, wanna take a look at your scalp. So I'm just gonna have a look here. Just a tiny little bit of dandruff, but just totally normal. How often do you wash your hair? Three to four days. Every three to four days, okay. I'm just gonna take my comb here. Okay, so hair follicles are strong. No signs of hair loss. Silky, smooth, looks like it's on the medium, thicker side. Very healthy. All right, now I'm going to just separate the back here. Take a look over here. Often do you cut your hair? Mm, every six months or so. Just having a look at your ends here. It's gonna have a feel of the scalp. Noticing any signs of rosacea or eczema on the scalp. And then behind the ears and by the neck, no dryness. And do you feel any pain? No. Having a feel of the ear here. Any discomfort? No. 
and on this side here. Any pain? No. Okay. All right, I'd like to do a few cranial tests. And so I'll have you raise your eyebrows and don't let me push them down. Good. And can you blink for me three times? Good. So smile. Okay, good. And frown. Perfect. And um, I'm going to have you bring your hands up like this. I'm going to try to pull them apart. Don't let me. And I'm going to try to close them. Don't let me. Good. I'm going to have you go like this for me. I'm going to try to pull my finger through and just don't let me. Good. And are you able to wiggle all your fingers? Go like this. And squeeze my hand. Good. All right. And I'll have you shrug your shoulders and don't let me push them down. And I'm going to try to move your head. have an assessment of your skin. Have you ever had any eczema flare-ups or anything like that? No. Okay, so I'm just having a look at your overall health of the skin. Would you say your skin is normal to dry or more so oily? Um, during the winter month. During the winter months, it's closer to dry, and then in the summer, it's normal. Gotcha. Yeah, that's um, fairly normal. I don't see any distinct moles. Have you ever had your skin checked? No. Okay. Let's kind of have a look here. gonna check your um, capillary response here. Should be under two seconds. Good. I'm just gonna check your palm. No um, distinct moles on this side either. Skin looks very healthy and very hydrated. I do see a little band-aid. Um, did you cut yourself? Yes. Okay. And um, how long ago was that? Two days ago. And is everything okay with it? Yes. Good. So the chest looks very healthy as well. I don't see a change in color from the forehead down to the chest area here. And so that's a good sign. So now I'm going to do a palpation of the thoracic cavity, which is, um, hold, which, which is in the area right here. It holds your lungs and your heart. And I just want you to let me know if you feel any discomfort as pressure is applied. Do you ever get a tight chest? No. Okay. All right, so I'd like to do an assessment of the eyes. So what I'll have you do is, um, I'm gonna have you just look this way for me. I'm gonna come a little close and I'm just gonna check the optic nerve. So, have you just relax while I pull your eyelid down a little bit. Mm-hmm, okay, and I'll have you look up for me. Okay, no popped blood vessels. Retina is attached. Optic nerve is healthy. Eyelash distribution is normal. Okay. And your eyes did water a little, which is normal. They might be a little sensitive to touch. Mm -hmm. um, do they ever feel itchy? Mm, just during allergy season. And do your eyes water when you're laying down? No. Okay. All right, I'll have you just look this way. 
Just having to look at the eye here. I'll have you look up if you can. Eyelash distribution is normal. Veins are healthy. Retina and everything else looks good as well. Let's do a quick test of each eye uh, with a Snellen chart. So I'm actually going to have you um, hold this at arm's length away from you. Okay. And are you able to use this hand to cover one eye? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll just point to the one. T. H. P. B. C. Okay, I'll have you switch and do the opposite. T. P. T. E. 2025 D 2000 H J L Okay, so you passed the Snellen chart here with both eyes. And I have a few colors I'd like for you to just tell me what they are. Yellow. Pink. Blue. Purple, green. Very accurate on the color vision there. Very good. Now I'm going to have you um, look at my nose and I'm going to wiggle my fingers and let me know when you don't see them anymore. Okay. Now. 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 Okay. And let me do, know when you do see them. Now. No. Okay. And um, let me know which ones are wiggling. Your right or your left? Left. Right. Both. Both. Left. Right. Lovely. All right, I'm going to move on to um, your nose. And so I'm going to just obstruct one nostril. I want to see if you can comfortably breathe out of it. Okay. Breathe it. Good. Very good. So you have clear sinuses. Okay. I'm going to do a uh, smell test here for you. First, I will just be show showing you a few scented glue sticks. Okay. Okay. And I'll have you just smell that. Pineapple. Good, that's exactly right. Watermelon. Very good. And we will do um, one more here. This is a tincture that I created. Coffee. Yes, good. All right. All right. Now I uh, would like to just take a look inside of your mouth to assess your tonsils. Have you had uh, your tonsils removed? No. Okay. And have you ever had an infection in the in the tonsil area? No. Okay. I'm just gonna have you say ah. Oh. Uh. So your tongue out if you could. Okay. Everything looks really healthy. No swollen tonsils. I'll have you smile. Okay, teeth are intact and healthy. Let's go ahead and do a, a taste test. So this smells like coffee. Um, it should also taste like coffee. Okay. So I'll just have you try that. Yep, coffee. Good. The next thing I'll do is test your ears. Okay. And I'm just going to have a feel of um, both sides here, just yet again, just to make sure there's nothing abnormal. Okay. I'm going to have you look this way so that I can take a look inside. I'm just going to pull them back slightly. Oh, 
Okay, no buildup of earwax. Healthy. No um, signs of any infection or inflammation. And the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. Okay, great. All right, I'll be checking this side. Just gonna pull up and back here. Okay, so no earwax buildup, no signs of infection or inflammation, and the tympanic membrane is pro gray, healthy and intact. Do you suffer with any tinnitus or ear aches? No. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick test here. Uh, first, a sensation test on your ears and it is a little bit of air, it won't hurt. And I would like for you to just close your eyes and tell me which ear you feel it. Okay. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Okay. I am going to be making a sound, I want you to guess what it is. Okay. Clippers? Yeah, it's a very small scissor, which is very similar to a clipper, so very good there. I have a tuning fork here that creates a sound, but also a vibration. Just let me know when it stops, when you don't hear it anymore. Okay. There's two sides, so there's one and two. I want you to just tell me which one is louder. I'm also going to create a clicking sound, such as... And I'd like for you to count how many times I okay. click. Three. Two. Four. One. Perfect. Okay, I would like to go ahead and do a sharper dull test on your face and chest and arms. This is sharp. This is dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Do, sharp, do, sharp, do, sharp, do, sharp, do, sharp, sharp. Okay. I'd like to now do a reflex test. So I'll start off with your arm. I'll be bend it just a little bit and completely relax it into my hand if you could. Very good. Perfect. Just relax completely. Alright, everything checks out so far. I'm going to go ahead and have you um, lay down okay. and we'll focus on the abdomen and as well as the feet. Okay. 
All right, I'll just be pulling up the shirt and the bottoms down a little. Is that all right? Yes. Okay, so I do see a belly button piercing here. All right, so let's go ahead and just have a listen of the bell sounds. This is getting just a little bit cold here. And you said the pain is more so right over here. Mm. Okay. All right, I'll have you breathe normal. Okay, I'll have you take a deep breath in. And out. Good. And again. Just listening with the bell here. I don't hear too many sounds, probably because you didn't eat this morning. Okay, a little gurgle there means that this working, doing something. What did you have for supper last night? Uh, Subway. That's so funny, I actually had Subway too. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and check the temperature of the abdomen here. Good. Six point nine. So with the belly button here, um, piercing. How long ago was that? Five or six years ago. Looks like it healed really well. Okay. So just having a look at the skin here, see a little mole, not too big or concerning. I'm just gonna do a quick um, feel of the abdomen here. Okay, so when I press down here, do you feel like a piercing pain at all? No. What about here? No. Okay, so it's not pressure that causes pain. It might be that you have a food allergy. Just having a feel of the organs here, the liver and the spleen. Okay, I'm gonna have you, if you can, um, just lift up your head slightly. Good, and back down. Any pain? No. Okay. Just gonna do a quick tap of the abdomen. Very good, okay. I'm going to do a uh, skin analysis. Let's take a skin sample of the mole here. And then also inside the belly button here. And I do see a little scar there. Have you had a surgery? Yes. Was it a hernia? No. Okay. Just going 
to measure the um, body fat here. I want to see if you have a reaction to a little bit of scraping here. to have you just say yes when you feel it. Feel one or two puffs. Two. One. Two. Two. One. Two. Okay. Now I'll have you tell me if you feel sharp or dull. This is dull and this is sharp. Dull. Very good. And I'll be creating a little vibration. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. And when you stop feeling it. Now. When you feel it. Yes. And when you stop. Now. Yes. Now. Yes. Now. Move down to the feet. Is it alright if I remove your socks? Yes. Okay. So just have a feel of the legs, checking for any edema or any signs of gout. the bony prominences of the leg here. Let me know if you feel any discomfort. All right, I'm going to have you tell me which toe you feel the tapping. So this is what it's feel like. And it's one, two, three, four, five. 
one, five, three, five, three, one. Good. I'm going to pull a toe. Just let me know which one. Four, two, one, three, five, two, two. Okay. Just going to do a quick check in between the toes here. Have you ever broken a toe? No. Have you ever broken a toe? No. No signs of gout. Toes are a little bit on the colder side. Makes sense with low blood pressure. Do you feel this? Yes. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay, and let me know if you feel sharp or dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Do, sharp, do, sharp, do, sharp, do. I would like for you to tell me if you feel big or small. So this will be big and this will be small. Big, small, big, small, big. Big, small, small, big, 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 small, 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 big, small, small. Okay. I'm gonna move to the bottom of your feet here. All right, so we're gonna start off with a quick evaluation of the toes. So just having a quick look at the bottom, looking to see if there's any shedding of the um, skin, which there's a little bit there and a little bit there, which is totally normal for the bottom of the feet. To do what's called a Babinski test to see if you react to this sensation. Good. I'm going to do the big or small test. Big, small, small, big. Small, big, big, small. And then sharp or dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Okay, just say yes when you feel this. Yes. 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 Good. And I am going to just take a really quick sample of this tiny little mole like. That I see here. I 
And lastly, just say one or two. Two. One. One. Two. Two. One. Two. One. Okay, I'm just going to put your socks back on and then we will focus on your back. And I'll have you just sit up for me facing the doors. I'll just have you remove your top and leave on your undergarment. Okay. I'll just be uh, putting up your hair, is that all right? Yes. I'm just going to have a feel of the spine here. I feel the spine is a little bit curved. Do you uh, struggle with scoliosis? Yes. Have you been diagnosed with it? Yes. And how often do you um, feel the effects of it? Mm -hmm. Pretty much every day. What level of pain are you normally at? Mm, like a two. It's kind of tap on the spine here. So do you feel uh, discomfort when I tap? No. Okay. Any pain there? No. I'm going to use my stethoscope to listen at the back of the lungs since I didn't do that earlier. Okay. I'm going to have you breathe in. Breathe out. Good. And again. And be normal. Once again, lungs sound clear. All right, so I'd like to do um, a little bit of tapping. Just let me know if you feel any pain. Discomfort there. No. Okay, I'm just going to do a skin analysis. Just, just scraping a few of the moles here.
check the body fat at the back. 1.2. Point four. One point four. Point two. Point three. One point four. Point two. One point three. Do some acupressure here along the spine to help with that scoliosis there. Just check to see if your skin reacts to a little bit of abrasion. you to tell me if you feel two prongs or one. This is this is two and this is one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One. One. So this is a little bit of a cold sensation. I'm gonna run it down your spine or your back. Just say um, yes when it stops. Yes. 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 Okay, just let me know if you feel one or two puffs. One. And let me know if you feel small or big. Big. Small. Small. Big. Small. Big. Big. Small. Big. Big. Small. Okay, let me know if you feel sharp or dull. Sharp. Don't. Sharp. Don't. 
sharp. Do. Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. Do. Sharp. 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 Do. Sharp. Sharp. And I'm going to create a vibration and just say yes, Vanya. You feel it? Yes. Yes. gonna take the hair down okay feel free to put on your top and I'll have you turn around for the um, the outro um, just gonna go ahead and remove my gloves so per the physical examination, um, I don't really think there's anything wrong with your internal um, organs in the abdomen area. Okay. Um, I think what I would do if I was you is uh, have a food allergy test done. You might be lactose intolerant, mm -hmm. intolerant. Uh, you might be dairy intolerant, or maybe even uh, gluten. Okay. So um, another thing that you could do is you could try to eliminate those foods for a couple of days and then Try to bring one food in, wait a couple days, see how you feel. Um, might require a couple of weeks of testing. Um, but I do think that that's an awesome way to figure out if you have an allergy to something. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, food can really affect your daily life. <laughs> um, I would like to see you again in the next couple of weeks to see how you're doing. Okay. Um, but for now, did you have any questions for me? No. All right, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.